So it's a big day today at Archer. We are announcing our earnings and I wanted to give you a little more context because there's a lot going on. So since I founded Archer in 2018, we have made a ton of progress. And the next 18 months are all about heads down work to get us to launch. So let me walk you through this quarter how we systematically knocked down big barriers to make this happen. So in the quarter, we had some major accomplishments on the engineering side, and the biggest was Midnight's transition flight, meaning the aircraft took off vertically, then it transitioned onto the wing, and then it landed again vertically. So Archer is the only one to do this with a 6,500 pound maximum takeoff weight aircraft. Others have done it with smaller 4,000 pound aircraft, but this was a big deal because the physics tell us that you need this size of an aircraft to carry the payload to make air taxis a viable business. So huge accomplishment to the team. Now, based on the success of the product, our investors and our partners have also continued to show strong support for Archer. And in the quarter, we raised $230 million from some of the best investors in the world. But even bigger news was the deepening of our partnership with Stellantis. So today we announced that Carlos Tavares, the Stellantis CEO, and I have agreed on the key terms of our contract manufacturing relationship, where Stellantis will fund up to nearly $400 million in labor and CapEx to help us scale midnight manufacturing up to 650 aircraft from 2025 to 2030. So I always envisioned that we would get to this point with Stellantis, but it certainly didn't start out that way. It started out pretty small with myself, a few engineers, and an industrial engineer at Fiat Chrysler named Moosh. And we were working on conceptual designs for interior cabins for our aircraft. So this expansion of our partnership puts us in an ideal place where we can do what we do best, which is developing advanced aircraft for electrification of aviation and commercializing the, the industry. And Stellantis can focus on what they do best, which is scaling manufacturing. On the build out of our factory in Georgia, we've also made a ton of progress. And so you can go on our social posts and see how far this factory has come, which will open up later this year. The factory is on a 100 acre site in Covington, Georgia, and will be able to produce up to 650 aircraft per year, which will make it one of the largest factories in the avi aviation industry by volume. Now that we have a clear path to manufacturing the aircraft at scale, we also put in place an experienced team to make sure that every single one of those aircraft that come off the line will have a home. And we're seeing a lot of demand across the world for the midnight aircraft, and we now have a nearly $6 billion indicative order book. So domestically, we're focused on markets such as California and New York. And last month, we shared the launch of our initial San Francisco network, as well as our newest partner, Southwest. Today, we unveiled our initial LA network. And so there's a couple things that are really exciting about doing this in LA. The first is the relationship with Cronky Sports and Entertainment and the LA Rams. So this focuses on the iconic SoFi Stadium and Hollywood Park, which is set to host some of the world's biggest sporting events in the coming years. You have the Super Bowl coming up, World Cup in 2026, and then the Summer Olympics in 2028. Second, we're working with the University of Southern California to electrify their existing heliports. And then lastly, we announced additional vertiports throughout LA that incorporate our partners Southwest, United Airlines, Atlantic Aviation, and others. On the international front, there has been really incredible opportunities to potentially deploy some of the very first aircraft that we manufacture. The UAE particularly has been very leaned in. The framework agreement that we signed with the Abu Dhabi government really unlocked the ability for the UAE regulators to spend meaningful time with us on early deployment. We're also working with our partners Falcon Aviation and Air Chateau to build out infrastructure in the country. Finally. I wanted to share the progress that we're making with the U.S. Air Force. Last year, we announced an industry-leading contract with the U.S. Air Force that was valued up to $142 million. And just last week, we delivered our first aircraft against that agreement. So for decades, the aviation industry has benefited from the U.S. military hardening the technology and then passing those benefits back to the civilian passenger market. And that's what's happening in the eVTOL industry as well. So as you can see, it's been a really big quarter for us. And I just wanted to say thank you to the team and to our partners who've helped support us on this journey. There is a lot of work ahead, but I am super excited for it. Thank you.